This new and improved version of the regulator is designed to help conversational individuals explore sensory motor strategies that can be useful for self and mutual regulation. You'll notice that it's divided into the seven sensory systems, vestibular, proprioceptive, tactile, auditory, visual, gustatory, and olfactory. Within each of these sensory systems, there's a list of suggested tools and strategies that an individual can try, which may be useful for them when there's a mismatch between their energy and the expected energy in an environment. This tool is actually used ahead of time, where a student or an individual is able to trial the strategy and then record, perhaps with the assistance of someone else, how it changes their energy, whether it's soothing, neutral or alerting, but then also whether it is preferable to them or not. It's the combination of this information which can be recorded on the regulator that can be then utilized to discuss when there is a mismatch between energy and the energy needed to engage in activities, what strategies might be useful. For instance, if it's a situation where the individual's energy is too low, they can look at the support to look for alerting strategies that they enjoy. Or if it's a situation where the individual's arousal level is too high, they can look for soothing strategies that they also enjoy. This support was designed to be used in combination with the energy meter. And you'll notice that the third and fourth pages of this support actually are relatively blank, which will allow you to write in your own strategies that you may want to trial yourself or with the individuals that you're working with. Once an individual has had the opportunity to work through the regulator, it could be useful to create a shorter list of preferred soothing strategies and preferred alerting strategies for easy reference. This support was designed in collaboration with Dr. Jacqueline Feedy, and when she was reflecting on the design of the support, she noted that it is very helpful to think about these types of sensory motor strategies because in moments of extreme dysregulation, words can often complicate and further dysregulate. She talks about when she's in these higher states of arousal, that when people ask her to use words, that it often creates a situation where she becomes more amped up and that it is actually the sensory motor strategies that are very helpful for her. She also comments on that this kind of language support removes that language barrier because it's visual for her. And the visual will create a menu of ways that a partner could truly support her as an autistic individual with strategies tailored to her own needs and preferences. So we hope you find the support to be informative and interesting and useful